look at look at this, Stephen. Look at this. This is a, a leaf-tailed gecko, and look at its tail. Oh my God! It's just like an old mouldy oh. leaf. Flicked it. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> But it is probably the most extraordinary example of camouflage you'll ever see. And it's even got this sort of ragged edge so that it breaks up the outline yes. a little bit and the, all these markings all over it just match the, the tree trunk. This one's a panther chameleon. Even before our search for wildlife has properly begun, it seems to be finding us at every turn. They're wonderful creatures, aren't they? Fantastic. Do their eyes kind of go 360 degrees? They seem to go in any direction. They swivel up and they down. They do. They're independent as well. They can do two things. They can, they can either look at and focus on two things at once, or they can put them both in front and then get binocular vision like is that's to hone in on exactly on an insect with their tongue, is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, it gets dark very quickly. It really does, suddenly. Stephen, yeah? look what I found. I found the most amazing thing. Look, that oh is God. the smallest chameleon in the world, pygmy chameleon. Oh my God! And that's an adult. You're joking. I mean, everything about him is perfect. You can see. Mm, look at the tail. Around, that is fantastic. You can see there. That you take that end again. Okay. There we go. Look, look at that. that. And his face is fabulous. Slightly, oh. slightly it looks annoyed. so delicate, so delicate. I'm frightened to hurt him. <laughs> Isn't that just fantastic? It's a finger wide. And, and you're, you're telling me that is a full-grown adult? That is the smallest chameleon in the world. It just shows what's here. I mean, goodness knows what we're missing walking through the forest like this. Yeah.